Droner. What's up, Droners, and welcome to us doing an outdoor tutorial. What we're doing today is, well, before we get into what we're doing today, what we really need to talk about is that the Mavic is awesome. I love the Mavic. This actually was inspired by cameraman Tony because he talks a lot of junk about the Mavic. He doesn't think he likes it. So I was like, well, we're going to talk about all the different features that the Mavic has because that's a lot. In this video, we're going to talk about the gesture control. Um, a lot of people got really excited about when the Spark first came out saying that it has gesture control. You can control it by putting your hands up and blah, blah, blah. Well, the thing is, is the Mavic Ben Dunn had that. So I wanted to use it today because honestly, I've never used it. It's not something I ever would use, but maybe it's something you would. So I want to see what the Mavic can do. I want to see how easy it is to use. So here we are. What I'm going to do is um, I watched the DJI tutorial video, which is like 30 seconds. And pretty much I'm just going to take it off. Um, I do have my Polar Pro filter on it. I don't know if that's going to affect it or not, but as you guys can see, it's super bright outside. So I don't understand why you'd ever want to fly a drone without a filter on it when it's this bright. So I have the filter on, see if it still works. Maybe if it doesn't, we'll have to take it off. But I'm supposed to pretty much just put it up in the air, go into the active control modes, put it in gesture mode, and then just do like a big Y shape. And then it's supposed to follow me around. And it's supposed to do like the camera picture taking thingy. So I'm going to do, attempt to do all of that. And hopefully it's really easy so I can talk junk to cameraman Tony looking at you and just to prove how much more awesome the Mavic really is than the drones that he likes because he likes all kinds. He actually likes the Spark. I don't understand him. But either way, we're going to get into it. So first of all, we're going to take off. So that's the first step. That's the only thing that the, the Mavic can't do that the Spark can do is takes off from your hand. That's it. That's the only thing. Um, and the panoramic pictures. But who cares? Nobody asked that. So we're going to go ahead and take off. All right, so I'm going to have to walk away from the frame of the camera, so I frame myself up on here. I have to go into the gesture control mode, then I have to walk back into frame so it recognizes me, and then it's supposed to start following me. So we'll see how that goes. First thing I'm going to do is go into gesture control mode. Bam. So I'm going to walk out of frame first. So it's in gesture control. It might have locked onto cameraman Sully already, but we'll see. So I need to put this down, do this. Hey, did it find me? I don't know. Oh, did it? What's it doing? Hey! Is it following me? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not doing anything. Look what it's doing. It doesn't seem to be following me. All right, we'll try this one more time. Hey, it's following me. Huh? Oh, go that way. I guess I'm walking through stuff. As you can see, I'm not flying it. Woo, those things are spiky. Hey, Mavic, come on, buddy. It's following me. Because I did gesture control. Oh, I don't want to come back. All right, we're coming back. I'm going to take a picture with it. All right, so let's take a picture real quick. Hey! It took a picture. You see, like, it, it did, like, the blinky thing. So I'm going to take another one. Hold on. Because we fly out here. Oh, yeah. All right, that was kind of cool. The Spark can do that, too, but it's not as pretty because it's not on a Mavic. Um, so, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. All right, so it looks like it's doing a pretty good job of following me. Honestly, it's a little bit creepy. But honestly, this is all it really does. It just follows you around without you having to actually control it. As you can see, I'm not actually controlling the drone, but it is following me around. Um, so you can actually just make it so that if you're doing something and you want to film yourself and it's pretty chill, then you can do that. Hey! And it does keep up with you if you run. I kind of want to run faster than that. Do that, but here. Remember what I said? Fight. I think it lost me. So you can't move too fast. Other thing is like, if you, it'll lose you, it looks like. So I gotta try to get it back. I think it just got me back. It vibrates when you get it, it's how it feels like. So yeah, 
It's keeping me in there. I bet you I can mess it up, though, by running. I'm going to run back to where I just was and see what it does. Gone. I'm too fast, y'all. I'm just too fast. That's what that is. I'm just too fast. Maybe for regular people, it actually can keep track of you, but I'm just too fast, so it's cool. But yeah, there it is. That's gesture control. Pretty much the same thing the Spark does. And the reason why I didn't care about gesture control in the Spark is for what you can see now. Land it? Fine. All right, so the last thoughts, or pretty much the things that I didn't explain while I was going on is that the front lights, the front LED lights on your drone are really what's telling you what's going on, as well as vibration in the controller. When you set up the gesture control, the first thing that happens is that as soon as it recognizes you when you do the big Y shape, is that the controller vibrates and the drone, the lights blink on the front of it. So you know it's starting to follow you. And then after that, when you do the picture mode, when you're like this, you'll see the lights start to blink faster, 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 faster. And then as soon as it stops blinking or does the last blink, that's when it's actually taking the picture. So it gives you like a five second timer before it takes a picture. Other than that, other, other thing is that you can't move too fast. Like, so this is, you know, not the best when it comes to let, let me go do like some crazy running stuff. Like, I think it'll work a lot better if you're doing it in a straight line, it'll be able to keep up with you. Um, but to, like, to do like turns and zigzags, it loses you quick. But that's the same thing on the Phantom 4 Pro. That's the same thing on the Spark. Like doing like the cut across the camera shot move is like it doesn't pan that well. So that might be a fun, if you guys want to see it, that could be a fun episode to do to see which of the DJI drones actually does active tracking better. Or if you guys have any other suggestions of drones that could do it, let me know because then I could bring those in and we could just do a comparison and say what's the best active track. Because active track can't be good for things. It can be good for things like, I don't know, you're a, there's a lot of mountain bikers that go up in here. Um, maybe you're mountain biking and you want to see yourself uh, mountain biking and you don't have a friend that flies drones, so you just do it for yourself. Or you want to go on a run or something. I don't know. It's pretty much, to me, I personally as a professional pilot don't really have a reason for it. Um, as a vlogger, I do. Um, because, you know, like I could be doing a walk, easily can do a walk and talk shot like that. If you have a sound system on yourself and you have the drone that has a, enough distance from you, um, I think this would work. You guys could still hear me talking. You obviously can still hear the drone, but if you don't care about that, then the drone can be your cameraman uh, for more, like, more or less however you want to look at that, I guess. Not the best cameraman, but a cameraman better than no cameraman um, if you want to do a walk and talk shot. So if you're lonely and you're doing camera shots, bam, there you go, after track. Otherwise, it's just good for following stuff. Um, so. Hopefully the technology gets better, but it's pretty cool. Droners, thank you for checking out this Mavic video. Um, as I'm learning, as we can learn together, the Mavic does a lot more than just take pictures and videos. So we're going to explore all that with all these other videos we're going to be putting out. So stay tuned for that. And there already may be some, so you should check them out because we do have amazing videos that are right over here. Or you can see the opening video to our page because it's dope. As always, make sure you subscribe to support us, hit up our Patreon page, or get one of these shirts in the link below um, to be able to be as fly as me. But either way, you should stay fly.